Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about the top five best new features coming to the iPhone with the next major update, iOS 18.1. And now iOS 18.1 is expected to release this month, the month of October, with a lot of great new features and enhancements. So let's talk about the top five best new features coming to the iPhone with iOS 18.1. Now I want to start off the list with Apple Intelligence. Obviously, this is going to be one of the biggest new features coming to iPhone users, and this will bring Apple Intelligence to iPhone for the first time. Now, once you update to iOS 18.1, in settings, you'll find the new Apple Intelligence options where you can tap in here, enable Apple Intelligence on your compatible device, and you'll be able to take advantage of the new Siri, the new Siri capabilities, also new functionalities like type to Siri. We also have our writing tools, new editing tools inside of the Photos application. I'll have an entire separate video on Apple Intelligence. Once it is available for you guys, everything that you can do, I'll break it down in a separate video, but Apple Intelligence aims to bring the first Apple Intelligent features to iPhone with the next major update, 18.1. And I know most users are excited for this one because keep in mind, if you bought an iPhone 16 and 16 Pro, this was the main selling point and Apple Intelligence should be available soon with 18.1. Now, something else happening with iOS 18.1 has got to do with Control Center. I'm sure that after updating to iOS 18, you started messing around with Control Center at new controls and changing things around but some users may get themselves into a bit of a mess after trying to customize their control center and iOS 18.1 actually gives you the ability to reset your control center back to factory default all you have to do is jump into settings here go into your control center extension right here and then right here we have the new option to reset the control center back to factory reset in case you've created a mess trying to customize your brand new control center in iOS 18, which is one of my favorite new features because I know most users really wanted this option after updating to iOS 18. So with 18.1, you'll be able to take advantage of a new reset button for control center. Another great new feature coming to the photos application is cleanup. Now cleanup allows you to remove objects from a photo. So for example, let's say I have this picture right here, but I want to remove things from the background. Let's say this thing right here, this person in the background here. So let's Let's go ahead and click on the edit tools available and then we have a new option called cleanup right here it is now this allows us right here to use different things like tap brush or circle different elements in a photo in order to remove it from the background you see there apple intelligence automatically detecting something distracting in the background i can tap into that specific object and it will remove the person or whatever it is that you want from the image and then you can just click done and it will clean up the photos for you in ios 18.1 so yeah cleanup one of the new Apple intelligent features coming to the photos application, I think is one of the top five new changes coming to the iPhone. Another great new update coming to iOS 18.1 and macOS Sequoia 15.1 is a drag and drop for iPhone mirroring. Yes, you can mirror your iPhone to your Mac and with iOS 18.1, you can now drag and drop things like images, files, etc., from your Mac over to your iPhone and from your iPhone over to your Mac. And obviously you can still interact with all your notifications, all your applications and enabling drag and drop with iOS 18.1 and Mac OS 15.1 is one of the best new features coming to iPhone users with the next major update. And last but not least, call recording. Call recording is finally coming to all iPhones with iOS 18.1. So once you update to iOS 18.1, you can go into settings and search for call recording, jump into the settings right here and make sure you enabled call recording on your iPhone. And once you do, you'll be able to make a phone call and initiate that call recording on your device. Now, once you initiate the call on the top left-hand corner, you'll see an icon that appears just like so. And this enables you to start recording a phone call on iPhone by simply tapping on this button. You get a three second countdown. The other person does get notified that you're recording the call. And then it starts recording the call for you, as you can see right there. And you also get your transcripts. And again, this is a feature that's coming to every single iPhone with iOS 18.1. And I think is one of the top five best new features as well coming to the iPhone with 18.1. So let me know what you think about iOS 18.1 so far. Keep in mind again, Apple intelligence, one of the major focus around this update, but here are some additional changes that are coming to your iPhone with the next update. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.